what does the inflection point mean? Why is so uh, critical? Why is so important? And why is the perfect storm that everyone was waiting for and talking about, why do we believe it's now? So it was interesting, Giuseppe, that you mentioned it, because as we're thinking about the industry over the last few months and, and trying to understand what's really going on, we figured out that counting the number of incidents is important, but we felt that we were missing something. And it was time for us, as we saw more and more attacks going after telematics, more uh, attacks going after infotainments, more attacks going after APIs, we figured out that we may have been missing something and we have to start looking at the impact. So it's not enough to count the incidents. We need to figure out what they're actually causing and the damage that they could be potentially inflicting. And what we did before we look at 2023, we went back to 2021 and 2022 and we analyzed all the incidents that were related to automotive and smart mobility as we do every year but this time we analyzed the potential impact now you'll hear me talking about potential quite often because the on to be honest we don't know for sure what was the actual impact we know that our analyst went back looked at the data and they have an, an estimation right so we have to be honest and say none of this is 100 percent sure but it's our best estimate and when we looked at those incidents that were reported, um, keep the deep and dark web aside for a minute, um, we saw something quite stable, right? In both years, we saw that about one or two percent at the bottom uh, of incidents had the potential to impact millions of mobility assets. By the way, when we talk about mobility assets, it could be vehicles, but it could also be applications, companion apps, it could be EV uh, charging uh, stations or infrastructure. So there's a lot of elements that are related to our industry. So one or 2% had the dramatic potential of impacting millions. About 20% had the potential to impact thousands of mobility assets. And about 80% of incidents in total had the potential to impact a few hundreds, a few dozens of, of mobility assets. And we, it sounds like we're discounting it, right? But when it comes to safety, even one is really bad, but it's not dramatic. So this is what happened in 2021. Now here's the time to fasten your seatbelt and let's see what happened this year. The numbers have completely changed. And when we analyze incidents reported in the clear web and looked at the potential impact, nearly 50% of incidents had the potential to inflict damage on thousands to millions of assets. If you just look at the massive, those are the really dramatic incidents. We more than doubled from 2% to 5%. High impact has doubled from 20-ish to almost 45%. And this is the real inflection point, right? This is the hockey stick or that moment in time where we see the actual impact. And as we progress throughout this session, we'll show you different elements of this scale and the impact that it could inflict. Um, before we jump in, I wanted to give you one example of one incident and on purpose, we didn't choose an automaker. We chose a, a fleet system uh, vendor to again, highlight that this is not only relevant to automakers. They're not the only ones responsible. There are many other stakeholders that are sharing the responsibility. And in this incident, it was reported in early um, September. And this is a, an American vendor of a fleet management system that performs two elements. The first one, it enables the drivers to log their hours. This is very important for regulations and compliance uh, in America. And the second element that this vendor provides is inventory management for the fleet. Obviously, both, both of these elements and technologies are instrumental for business operations. And due to a ransom attack, which we estimate could have been resulted with APIs, but we're not 100% sure because it wasn't reported. It's just an estimation. Um, these systems were essentially, they became unavailable on a large percentage of the fleet. 
OK, so this is exactly one of these examples. And according to what we saw drivers report, it took approximately three weeks for the vendor to recover from this ransomware attack. OK, so in this case, we're estimating thousands of commercial vehicles, trucks mostly, uh, that were impacted in their ability to operate in the way that they were designed. Uh, so this is just one example of a highly interesting uh, incident that happened recently. 